KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Basil Chapman here. And this is the uh, Thursday, 21st edition, December. Oh, close to wrapping up the month. Well, talk about wrapping up the month. You see the little doji candle right here. That's something we have to watch closely. It's the weekly chart. The Dow is up 241 points, having dropped almost 500 points, actually over 600 points from the high of yesterday. Look at that big red candle in a leg F. There are a whole bunch of connotations I'm going to go through in my show coming up, the Tiger Technician's Hour. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, uh, we've got to see if that, the low of yesterday is taken out on a closing basis in the next couple of days. It means, okay, we've got that period of rest that I, I said a digestive phase is possible. Looking at the S&P, we're looking at the S&P now up about 36 points at 47.33, kind of halfway into the wick of yes, into that very big red candle of yesterday. Uh, we're going to be looking at what happens if it takes out the low of yesterday as well here. But so far, I think this is more like a shot across the bow, but it isn't really the shot that does damage. It just It's a hint of uh, some kind of – it was almost like a, a three-in-one session yesterday where there was an early morning part, then a mid part, midday, and then the final you really crunch to the downside. <clears throat> they could have completed a bunch of things. We're up 354 in the in the QQQ and the and the IWM, the IWM made a, the Russell sorry the Q's made a high all time high yesterday, the Russell, no did I say all time yeah the the Russell 2000 is up 234 at 198, um, yeah we'll have to see what happens there if we can hold the 195 area through tomorrow that's good. Looking at the uh, gold, <clears throat> gold is up. Um, $6 at 2063 You can see it's just trying to walk the nine-period moving average here, acting okay. It's not great, but it's not acting badly. It's just acting okay. But if you look at the dollar, the dollar is acting very weak, even though the dollar right now uh, is down 0.59 at 101.87. It hasn't really impacted gold as you would expect. So they're really kind of independent right now. Crude oil. Uh, crude oil is trading uh, down 63 cents and bonds, here we go, uh, bonds are up for 30 seconds. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. It's going to be an exciting session today again. I'll be back. See you in a few moments. Check out my opening call in my video from last night. 